Max? Tony, he couldn't be. Why not? That's ridiculous. Max is your brother. He's my stepbrother who hates me. The feeling that Max has towards you couldn't possibly be with the The trouble is, Tony, you've never liked each other, and that's why you entertain these ridiculous thoughts. At least the feelings are mutual. Couldn't you be wrong? I think the blow you had on the head is in fact affecting your judgment. Look, I'm not wrong. I'm convinced this entire thing is a hoax and that I've never seen those people before in my life. Someone married Rachel under my name, and they tried to kill me off. Then Rachel, as my widow, would have inherited all my money. That could be. But how did Max do it? Look, I checked with the concierge and the people up at the motel, and the physical description they gave me of Max was strikingly similar to me. And there are other things. Such as? His behavior with Rachel and some other small details. He never forgave my father for giving me all the money. Now, the person that tried to kill me had to know me pretty damn well. I don't know, Tony. I think you're wrong. I know you've never met Rachel, but to assume that Max is involved in her the way you suggest is ridiculous. Why didn't you call the police? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine if this is true? The press got a hold of it? They'd have a field day with it. And Victoria? Now, she's been like a mother to me. There's no way I'm putting her through this. Tony, you're absolutely right. You've got to keep this really quiet. What you've got to do is to get Rachel to confess. Or get her father to confess. They're involved in the hoax. You cannot afford to be compassionate with them at all. <sighs> That's true. See, I'm not sure if they're in it on their own. I think that someone's making them comply. How? I'm not sure. But I'm going to find out. Whoa! What a shower! And, 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 and look at this, Rach. This is great. Free beer. What a life, huh? You want one? This place is like paradise. I think, uh, I was all right last night in front of Mrs. Clydesdale. And, I mean, uh, uh, Stockdale and no doc. What's his name? Good morning. Were they? And you were fine. Okay. Miss Stockdale's pretty nice. She's a little... She's a little stumpy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're fine. Okay. Miss Stockdale's nice, isn't she? Uh, She's a little... A little stuffy. Yeah. I mean, just so I didn't, I didn't embarrass you or anything? I didn't embarrass you. Your husband is a gem. He really is. Probably had a better one. Paige. What's that, honey? Come on, I already told you, if Tony finds out anything, I'll take the blame. I promise, all of it, okay? Give me a little smile, please. A little more real one. If Rachel were a gold digger, she'd be, she'd be aggressive towards me. She'd be acting completely different. She's totally reserved. Now she doesn't even want to share my bed. What's her excuse? Well, she says she doesn't love me anymore, that our marriage was a mistake. Now she wants a divorce. Really? Yeah, and here's the thing. She doesn't want any alimony. No alimony. Can you believe that? That's why I don't think she planned this. Like if she wanted to try to kill me for the money, she would take the alimony. That's a very good point, Tony. You ask her at first, I thought her father was putting it up to it. Then I met the old guy. He's got a huge heart. He doesn't have any ambition, but he loves his daughters. Why did you bring him down here? Because I want to see Max's face. I want to see his reaction when he sees the old guy. Ernie, I want you to be very careful there. A scandal of this little could ruin the whole family. And just for the record, I think you're wrong about Max. Oh, we'll see about that. James? Who was the old man with Rachel? Her father. Rachel's father? Yes, ma'am. Victoria, is it true that Rachel's father is here? Yes. Yeah. Tommy asked him to stay for a while. He's turning on completely crazy. Does he think this is a halfway house? <gasps> Rachel! Rachel! What happened here? Camille, what did you say? Nothing. What did you say? 
I just said that I was surprised that you invited her father. That's all. ask her. Because I'm asking you. I want to go home. Why? Because I have no reason to be here. Camille is right, Tony. You guys are all ashamed of me and my family. Why'd you bring my father down here? So you could laugh at him? I brought your father down here because I thought he would enjoy it. I wanted to do something nice for him. I don't believe you. I wanted to do something nice for you, too. Look at Tony. I really appreciate everything that you've done for us. But I have to go. I don't feel comfortable here. You and I are just from two different worlds. When I got married, I thought I was marrying somebody more like me. <laughs> I mean, it, it's not that I don't like the money. I'd be lying if I said that. I'm just not used to people like you. I, I, I don't know how to act. I, I can't be myself. Besides, it's not fair to your family. Oh, what do you mean? I don't think that your family should have to share a home with people like us. <sighs> that is the most you have said to me since I've known you. anybody is what they have inside. Money and wealth, that doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't make anyone better or worse than anyone else. And there is no one in this house who could ever make fun of you for not having money. Anything that they have, I have given to them. Tony, that's your family. And you're my wife. That makes you the most important part of my family. Well, I don't want them making fun of my father anymore. They have no right to do that. He has never done anything to them. I know. I know. Goodbye, Victoria. I'll see you at the door. See you soon, Camille. Bye. Camille. Yes? Follow me. Where? Just come with me. said to her before, but I do know you're going to apologize to her right now. Tony. Apologize, Camille. But, but that's not really necessary. I don't have all day. Apologize. I'm sorry. Go now. Are you better now? No, I'm not better. You just humiliated her in front of me. She was almost crying. Well, she deserves it. Well, I didn't like it. Why not? 
Because I don't like watching people suffer, and that's what she was doing. Even when they made you suffer? Look, I don't know what Camille said to you, but it obviously hurt you a lot. Last time I saw you, you were crying. She did hurt me. Two wrongs don't make a right, Tony. Wow. It says so much about you. Such a sweet person inside. Only oh, human. I'll go down. I'd really like to take a shower and change my clothes. Do you mind? No, not at all. Thanks. I'll see you later. Tony? Thank you. For inviting my father down. And for everything else that you've done. Chalet. She seemed to be crying. Is anything wrong? She's had an argument with Tony. Oh, Marty, your father's here. My dad? Mm -hmm. What's he doing here? Well, Tony invited him down for a couple of days. Really? That's great. Um, where is he? Where's Rachel? Rachel's in her bedroom, and your father's in the bungalow closest to the beach. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, I'm going to go see my daddy. So, um, what were Camille and Tony arguing about? Camille insulted Rachel's father right in front of her. That woman has no manners. No pity. We should talk to her. She don't want to listen to me. She acts like she owns the world. And what do you think I can do if Tony can't do anything? Well, you're her husband. Oh, right, I'm her husband. I'm a kept husband. Well, if she doesn't straighten this thing out with Rachel, I think Tony's going to get so angry he's going to cut off her allowance. And that would affect you, kept or not, I should think. convince him to take away our allowance. Not a very pretty picture, is it? Yeah, Marnie, have you seen Max? Mm, no, uh-uh. Well, I was voting all day with Clark and his friends, so I had the most incredible time. Listen, I gotta go shower and change, okay? Later. What was Tony doing in San Francisco? Oh, no, he said he had some business. I'll tell you exactly what he was doing there. He was investigating. Well, if he was, he didn't tell me anything. Did you sleep with him? What? Who do you think you are? Answer the question, did you sleep with him? So what if I did? I'm warning you. Just so much as touching. 
I'm going to tell them the whole story, and I don't care what happens. Um, Hi there. What is he doing here? I can see you're taking the role of Mrs. Tony Stockdale very seriously, inviting the whole damn family to move in. Come on, Tony, don't get mad. I asked the other Tony to bring me down here. Shut up. Dad, please. Max, we have to talk. Not here, somewhere else. Go, I'll follow you. Fine. Peter, where did Rachel and Max go? Uh, I, I, I don't know, they didn't say. They didn't say. Maybe Max just wanted to show her something. What? I, I, I don't know. I couldn't hear. Peter, did you ever meet Max before? Max? No, no, no. That's the uh, first time. It's the first time in your life you have seen Max Hauser. Yeah. Now, Peter, it's my understanding that Max went and saw you the day after my accident. When I was supposedly dead. Uh, uh, you know, that could be true. That, that really could be true. Uh, see, I, uh, I got this problem sometimes. I get, I get confused and, 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 you know, I'm, I'm drinking and stuff. Say no more. How about a drink? Yeah. Follow me. Understand it. Camille, can we drop this? How could Tony marry someone like that? I mean, he must have been embarrassed he didn't tell anyone. Look, I would just like to have a nice night out. All right, can we let it go until tomorrow or something? Please? Yes. Now, why don't we go over to the Blue Note, listen to some good jazz, just forget about all this. of us, we, we jumped in this, this old car and we, we drove down the, the coast of Mexico and uh, we got as far as Acapulco and that's where the car broke down. So that's how I got here. Um. Look, Max, we may be in this mess together, but it's not my fault and I want out of it as soon as possible. What do you think the best way to get out of it is? Sleep it down. Can you just drop that and listen to me right now? I don't want to hurt my family. And I don't want my father to spend his last years of his life rotting in jail. This isn't fair. We shouldn't have to pay for a crime that we didn't even commit. I've been such a wimp. And 
told everybody the truth, I wouldn't be in this mess. But now it's too late. Max, you know your brother better than anybody else. And you know if we continue with this, it's going to backfire on us. What do you suggest we do? A few days ago, your brother agreed for a divorce. He said that he wanted a friendly divorce. He didn't want a huge fight. Do it. What are you waiting for? There hasn't been a chance to talk about it. He's been really nice to me, and I can't just bring up divorce when he's being so nice. Nice. Nice, nice means he's asked you to go to bed, right? Yes, he's asked me to go to bed with him. He thinks we're married. And I've turned him down every single time. And he's been more than a gentleman about it. A gentleman. gentleman. Let me tell you what kind of a gentleman Tony is. You know what he's done with the others before you? Hmm? He'll meet a girl. He'll whine her. He'll dine her. He'll promise her the world. He'll buy her things. And then as soon as he has sex with her, Drops him like a bad habit. And believe me, he's going to do exactly the same thing to you. Why do you think he's not divorcing you? He wants you in a big way. And every time you say no, it makes him want you more. But trust me, Rachel, as soon as he gets you in the bed, he's going to dump you just like all the others. Do you even realize the mess that you've gotten me into? I feel terrible about it, really. And all I can say to you is, you should leave as soon as possible. How can I leave? Every day that goes by, I am getting deeper and deeper into this mess. And you're not making it any easier. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll try to make it easier. I'll try to be more careful. I promise. Now, you promise me something. Don't sleep with Tony. Don't, don't let him touch you. Because that would break my heart. And I just don't know what I would do if that happened. something as low as this. I want you to swear to me that you had nothing to do with that accident. All right, I swear to you I had nothing to do with that accident. The police investigated. They didn't find any foul play. That makes it what? An accident. Yeah, but the only way you could have gotten what you wanted is by Tony dying. Right? Why did you lie to me about who you are? I knew they were going to try to kill Tony. He just didn't want to say anything. He didn't want people to worry. So you expect me to believe that you planned this whole marriage thing hoping that Tony would die? I mean, you obviously must think I'm an idiot. Do you think I'm an idiot next? And how long were you willing to wait? What, five years? Maybe ten? What if you died before Tony did? That didn't happen. It wouldn't happen. Look, I knew they were going to try to kill him. And you can bet your ass that they're trying again. You're telling me you know who these people are? Max, you have to tell Tony about this. You're keeping your mouth shut. You're just as guilty as they are. 
All right, I'll tell him. But you have to divorce him first. Then I'll tell him. Deal? So sometimes I really, I really miss my wife. If it wasn't for my, my girls here, my life would be, be terrible. Right, Marnie? Daddy, I think you're boring Tony with your stories. No, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Absolutely not, Peter. I'm not bored at all. I actually find you very interesting. Really? Thanks. Tony? Did I serve? Okay, well, we're just waiting for Rachel. Where is she? Uh, she went with Max somewhere. To the beach? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Oh. Well, here comes Rachel. Rachel? Where's Max? I don't know. Well, let's go into dinner, Yeah, please. shall we? <laughs> Hi. It's one of the outfits you bought me in San Francisco. <laughs> Looks great. <sighs> oh, thanks. Hi. You gonna join us for dinner? No. No, I think not. Thanks. <laughs> Suit yourself. Listen, Lois, we have to figure out a way to get Rachel out of here. How about using the boat like we tried uh, the last time? Could, I guess. Just give me the word. All right, I'll let you know. Hey, you okay? I'm tired, Lewis. No, no one's helping me here. Max, uh, what? I need a couple bucks. How much? A few thousand. A few thousand. I got twelve hundred bucks. I'll give you a thousand. Hey, that's a start. Thank you. Don't they say anyone? Who won his money? Young, we're going to start. You take me home. Fine. So tell me more about her. Is she like really cheap looking? She has no class. No fashion sense. No taste. She looks like a tramp. Oh my god, what does she wear? Really cheap clothes? Bargain basement dime store grab bag special. <laughs> oh my god. How can Tony stand it? Well, is she at least pretty? She's kind of attractive. Long, stringy brown hair. Does she have a pretty face? I don't know. Laura, I doubt Tony married a dog. Carla, you saw her picture in the paper. Why are you asking me? Do you think she's pretty? Well, pictures in the paper can be deceiving, Maura. I did think she was pretty. I just wanted to know what you thought. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Camille loathed her as well. They got in a fight. She slapped her. You're kidding. Camille slapped her? No! This Rachel slapped Camille. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is getting better all the time. I think I'll just stop by the Stockdale's residence tomorrow. What for? 
to meet the savage Rachel woman. Why did you do that? While you're at it, dear little sister, I think I'd like you to pretend to become Rachel's friend. <laughs> what for? Are you insane? No. See, the thing is, Camille and Clark mm -hmm. say that they think there's something going on with Rachel and Max. Kenny. Uh-uh. I want you to find out what. Oh, I see. You think if I become her friend, she'll tell me everything, right? Or as she, as she finds out I'm your sister, she won't even tell me a thing. Does she know you were dating Tony? I don't know. Carla, you're going to help me with this and you're not going to ask me questions. Do you understand? I think Tony was forced to marry this woman. Or maybe she's pregnant. I don't know. And I don't care. What I do know is that she's not going to come along and steal my future husband. Do oh, you understand? Oh, Here, Charles, well, I arrived this afternoon. What'd you find out next stop? Well, they couldn't tell me a thing. Apparently, all of their personnel was changed. When was this? A few days ago. Well, what's the reason? Nobody seems to know. Uh, apparently, they all moved out of town and left no forwarding addresses. Did they get in trouble with the law? Well, not at all. Strange, huh? Um, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Did your memory come back? Like, I'm fine. What did the police find out about the accident? Tony, is someone there? Like, I'll see them out at the office. Goodbye. Mr. Swanson asked to say goodnight because he didn't want to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. He's gone to bed. Where's Rachel? She walked into his bungalow. Victoria, are you okay with Mr. Swanson being here? It's your house. You can do what you want. Hold on a minute. You're the lady of the house. No, actually I'm not. Your wife is the lady of the house now. Tony, do you really think that Rachel isn't what she said she was? No. Not at all. Look, don't you worry about a thing. I'm doing fine. Are you remembering more things? Yes, I remember lots of things. Okay. Oh, Tony, do you still think someone tried to kill you? Well, the police are still investigating. They're, they're pretty sure it was an accident. What do you mean, pretty sure? They think it was one of the engines in the helicopter, but they're not sure. As bad as that is, I'm really relieved. I don't know what I would have done if I thought someone was trying to kill you. I was shaking, just like this. I didn't know what to say, so I told him that we just met. Dad! Wait, I saved it, though, honey, because I told him I forgot that we met in San Francisco. Yeah, you know, with my mind, I said I, I, I couldn't remember, and then and I drank. Did he believe you? Yeah, I believe him. But honestly, he does not have any idea what's going on, but you know what you got to be careful of? you got to be careful when you're seen with Max. Remember when you guys were walking out of the house? Yeah. When he was watching, I didn't like the look on his face at all. What did he say? Well, he just came over and asked if, if I knew what, you know, where you were going and what you wanted and what you were doing and all that. And I said, oh, well, my maybe God, Max what am I going to do? No, what am I going to do if he asks? me. You can, um, you can tell him that, that you were looking for me. Tell him that you didn't know that I was in my room and, um, you got Max to help you out. I, I can't do this anymore. I, I can't. I am lying. It's like lie after lie. I can't do it. You guys, we are getting deeper and deeper into this thing by the bridge. Minute. Don't be so melodramatic. Just tell him what I said to tell him and leave him at that. I mean, he's got no reason to doubt you. Right, Dad? I don't know. I hope so. Oh, really, guys? Please talk to Max. Just try to help him. Will you please? Help him do what? Get over his jealousy? I mean, for that, he needs a therapist, not me. Oh, Alright, I'm sorry. Look, I've tried to get along with him. He wants nothing to do with me really worried about him. Why? 
because he's not the same anymore. He goes around angry all the time. He's like a powder keg with a short fuse. And he's too young to be this bitter. Tony, I want him to be happy. Something that'll take your mind off it. It's not in the mood. We already spoke. Besides, your brother's waiting for me in the house. Please? I can just tell Tony that you stayed with Dad for a while. No, not tonight. We can talk tomorrow. I promise it'll only take a second. I said no. this girl? A race or a chase? I was just going to bed. Go to bed. Good night. I was going to bed too. Good night. Not so fast. Don't lie to me this time. 